Now, Prince Harry has lost a high court challenge against the UK government over the level of his security protection when he's in the country. The Duke of Sussex went to court after the government downgraded his security status four years ago when he stopped being a working royal. His lawyers claim that he'd been treated less favourably than other members of the royal family. He's already said that he will appeal against that ruling. With the latest, here's Johnny Diamond. From birth, he has had a shadow, police protection, clearing the way and watching his back. But that doesn't come cheap. And when he and Meghan stepped back from royal duties and left the country, that automatic protection was withdrawn. That hurt, something he made clear when he told his side of the story. Em asked me, would they remove our security? I said, they'll never do that. Meghan's background, her heritage, the well-documented hate campaigns against us, suspicious packages being sent to the palaces, specifically with her name on or my name on. She said, do you think they'll ever do it? I said, no, they would never do that. And they did it. There would be times, like the late Queen's Jubilee, when, back in the UK, he would get protection. But it would be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. He went to court to challenge that decision. In court, Prince Harry's lawyers said that the way the decision had been made to deny him police protection was wrong, that the prince should have been able to argue his own case for himself. And they said that the people who made the decision should have considered the impact of any successful attack on Harry on the reputation of the country. But the court rejected all of that. The people who replace the police guarding Harry will have a tougher job. With police protection, with armed protection, you have immediate access to intelligence and information, and you can also tell the public to move over there. Don't park that car, car there. So the private team has a, a much more difficult task um, before them. It allows us to Today, Harry was speaking up on behalf of one of his British charities. His legal team says he will appeal the court's decision. Johnny Diamond, BBC News, at the High Court. Well, let's speak to Jackie Davis, who's a close protection officer or bodyguard with over 30 years' experience protecting royals and celebrities. Uh, Jackie, thank you for joining us. It, it's interesting because this case has all been about the, the level of protection. If, if you were a working royal, what kind of protection would you expect to get? Well, obviously, depending on the threat level and where in the royal family you were, uh, let me make it clear, I don't look after our royal family, nor have I uh, looked after foreign royals. But depending on, on the risk and the threat assessment, where you're going, what you're doing. So you'd normally have um, a PPO, a personal bodyguard. You'd have a security advance party, which is the team that does all the advance work. And you'd have a backup team. But in the background, you've got all the digital risk management that is going on that's really, really important. So really, I guess it's, it's quite a, a, a dynamic risk assessment, isn't it? Depending on, I suppose, in, in the case of somebody like Prince Harry, how often you're in the media, what kind of things you're saying, you know, it, it, it presumably changes all the time. It, it totally depends. I mean, uh, ultra high net worth individuals have their own set of problems. Um, you know, from blackmailers, stalkers, kidnappers, um, those that write in green ink to the palace or, or whoever the um, individual is. And so they all have to be looked at and they have to be monitored. Uh, so if you have an ultra high net worth who has been blackmailed or is being stalked, and, and we see many of those um, in the news, then your risk um, team in the background is diligently working hard to see where they are, what they're doing, um, and you'd then perhaps put out a surveillance team on that person. If you're, the person you're protecting is in the news and you know where they're going to be or where, or where they're going um, on those particular days. How much of it is, is your presence, Jackie, or somebody like you? The fact that, that you can see that somebody physically has close protection officers, bodyguards with them, does that counter the threat just by somebody being there? Um, the one thing that I know is that most high net worth individuals have very discreet security protection. 
they don't stand out. You tend to have in the music industry or the rappers tend to have the big burly minders um, that you see before you actually see the person they're protecting. So, you know, they must be protecting somebody. Uh, but most high net worths have very discreet security. And that's the whole point, because then you have the advantage. Jackie, really interesting to talk to you. Thank you so much. Close protection officer, bodyguard with more than 30 years experience. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome.